More than a dozen upset business owners and developers testified last week at a meeting about the burden placed on them by the city's troubled sewer infrastructure. We are here to investigate the city's issues with respect to inflow and infiltration, or otherwise known as I&I. &I. I I occurs when groundwater and stormwater seep into sewer pipes. Why hasn't the city planned for this? I mean, it's nice that we're here, but it's 10 years, you know, we've been into this. In a release, organizer Tom Stanley said there were 13 reported sewer overflows in Waltham between 2008 and 2010, resulting in the discharge of pollutants into the public water supply. He called the situation, quote, an existing environmental hazard, unquote. The problem is not new. The state forced the city years ago to enact measures to have new businesses do their part not to tax the system. But now they argue that the so-called I I mitigation measures are costly and unclear. I've probably lost dozens of deals and properties sat empty for months on end or more because of the INI issue. Is there a master plan? Is there an end in sight? They claim they can't figure it out for you, but they can tell you whether or not you did it correctly. That doesn't make any sense. We expanded and applied for all of our building permits in 2007 and opened in 2008. And we have not had a firm certificate of occupancy since that time because we were told when we went to get that CO, we owe that huge fine. Another thing that keeps coming up, and I can't find it in writing anywhere, as a bill, I'm also a property owner in Waltham. It stated that if a commercial property is vacant for over a year, that you now get an I&I &I fee. And they get to the end of it, and they go for their CO, and then somebody tells them they owe $50,000. I have spoken to a couple of counselors about I&I, and I and they said, what? They didn't even know what the hell I was talking to my counselor. I said, but you signed it. Well, yeah, well, there was a close meeting. The mayor told us to sign this, this, and that. And I, I see. I... And it's now the, uh, on our back, and it can only be on our back for so much longer before people I just walk in from the city and I'm very disgruntled about doing business in Waltham. Stanley, the newly minted head of the city's Economic Development Committee, plans to take the feedback to the city council. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Dana Matson.